Hello and good morning. Welcome to Chief Three Astro. Today we are in Scorpio ascendant and the seventh house card with more of marriage, type of marriage, and timing of the events. The houses that are responsible is Lagna, Lagna Lord, seventh house, seventh house Lord, Venus and Moon in the Rashi chart, the Vamsha Lagna, and the seventh house from the Vamsha Lagna. Let me try and emphasize these parameters because these parameters will help you to look at the event in a very straightforward man manner if you do not have the parameters set in your mind you will not be able to look at the chart when it comes to marriage i have had many of my friends telling me ma'am or my students telling me ma'am i understand when in the chart but when i personally see the chart i cannot make out that is because we do not have the parameters very thoroughly set in our mind and when we are looking at a particular parameter forget about the other parameters forget about every other influences every other houses every other thought processes just to concentrate on the parameters and apply these parameters straight forward let us look at the lagna lagna has no planet posted in the lagna but lagna is aspected by mars sun saturn therefore three malefic aspects are there on the lagna jupiter two aspects the lagna he is a benefic aspect right now coming to chandra chandra is conjoined with saturn therefore chandra is negated venus is all alone and is aspected by rahu what is the benefic influence it is the aspect of jupiter on chandra therefore cancelling the saturn's negativity and on the lagna may not cancel the negativity to a large extent but will cancel the negativity to a small extent now where will the negativity go since the navamsha lagna is in the fifth amsha and moon is posted in the seventh amsha the quality of marriage is good is no problem as far as the quality of marriage is concerned or when the native will get married how the native will get native will have an arranged marriage since there is no link of 1579 that is of course well set in our mind In this chart, there is a delay to the parameters of marriage because first house, seventh house, Chandra and Venus are afflicted. Now, what is the benefit? Jupiter is aspected. The other thought process is the dasha, the Jupiter Maha dasha, which is a benefic dasha, and is posted in the fifth house, aspecting the Lagna. Therefore, the dasha is benefic. because the dasha is benefic the native will get married in this dasha even though he was eligible for the marriage because the seventh house is loaded the lagna is loaded the chandra is also loaded so there will be a delay this is a known chart the native got married on 6th december 1981 fluence of negative planets did do the job of giving him a delay if not the whole 12 years at if you sit and calculate if not the whole 12 years he definitely gave us a 6 years delay now how did jupiter dasha ketu bhukti that was the period when the native got married how is it that the ketu dasha ketu bhukti gave the native marriage ketu is posted in leo the dispositor of ketu is sun therefore sun is posted in the Uh, seventh house is conjoined with the lagna lord he is aspecting the lagna therefore it, there is a promise of marriage in the dasha of jupiter and ketu antara now we ha also have to see whether the transits blessed the chart now let's look at the transits for say april of 1980 I have put the charts of the transit chart for 1981 April, where we see that both Saturn and Jupiter are retrograde and posted in Virgo. 
whether he is retro or not a retro he will aspect the seventh house by his ninth aspect whereas we are using the saturn's retrogression to aspect the seventh house by his retrogression influence i hope this video has been useful to you do like share subscribe follow me at chitri astro signing off dietary have a pleasant day bye bye